By the end of this video, you will know how to make a basic A-line skirt pattern from start to finish in clothes. You can apply this pattern drafting method onto hand drafting pattern as well as onto cloth drafting. For example, I'm going to use cloth software to draft these skirt patterns. You will not require to know cloth software to learn this simple drafting method. I will walk you through step by step on how to draft these A-line skirt patterns. These include measuring your body, picking the correct avatar size for your skirt, sewing it in clothes, fitting the skirt onto the avatar, then apply the fabrics onto the skirt all done in clothes. To measure for an A-line skirt pattern, I'm going to begin measuring the skirt length by pressing down the measurement tape onto my waist and then guide the measurement tape alongside of the hip down to the knees where I want the skirt length to be. For example, my skirt length is 50 cm. Next, I'm going to measure the hip length and it is 20 cm. After that, I'm going to measure my waist and hip circumferences. I'm going to measure its a little snooks on my waist and it is 80 cm. I'm going to measure a little loose for my hip circumference. Just wrap around my hip with the measurement tape and it is 106 cm. After measuring the skirt, next I'm going to show you how to calculate that skirt measurement. To calculate the skirt measurement, I'm going to divide the waist circumference by 4 and the hip circumference by 4. For example, the waist circumference is 80. Divide that by 4, it's equal to 20 cm. The hip circumference is 106 and I divide that by 4, it is equal to 26.5 cm. So I'm here in Clo. By default, I have 3D window on the left here and 2D window on the right. I'm going to switch to only 2D window to begin drafting my pattern. To do so, I'm going to come down here and click on this 2D icon. Double click on it. After that, I'm going to press down option or all on your keyboard, left click and drag this line up over here to a little bit more like on this kind of left side a little bit in the workspace. Next, I'm going to create the fabric for an A-line skirt. So come over here to this tool and I'm going to select a rectangle tool right there, click on one to select. After that, I'm going to click one on the page to place the create rectangle window and I'm going to type in the skirt width. The skirt width right here is 32.5. Next, I'm going to press down the tab key on my keyboard and I'm going to type in 50 for the skirt length. Okay, after that, leave everything as is and click on OK to confirm. After creating the fabric, I'm going to create the internal line for the skirt. To create the internal line, first of all, let me go to this transform tool, click on one to select and I'm going to click on that fabric and bring it down right over here a little bit. Refer to the formula uh, links below. I need to create four internal lines for this back skirt block. To do so, I'm going to come over here to this edit pattern tool, click on one to select and hover the mouse to the right and then click on this edit pattern tool to select. 
After that, I'm going to click one on this edge, top edge fabric, right click and select offset as internal line. After that, I'm going to type in the distance 1.25 for the west curve. Next, I'm going to click on OK to confirm. After that, I'm going to create my second internal line for the hip line. Once again, while the edit tool pattern is active, I'm going to click on this top line right there, right click, and then select offset as internal line. This time, I'm going to type in 17 for the hip line. After that, I'm going to select OK to confirm. Next, I'm going to create the dots line. To create the dots line, I'm going to, once again, while the edit pattern tool is active, I'm going to just click on here, this center back skirt line, right click, and once again, select offset as internal line. And this time, I'm going to type in 8.5, and then click OK. I'm going to zoom in a little more, okay? Just slide your finger onto this mouse pad and then slide forward to zoom in, okay? Next, I'm going to just click one on the plate to release from this highlight right there so we can see better. And after that, I'm going to, once again, while this edit pattern tool is active, I'm going to click on this baseline of the skirt and then right click and select offset as internal line. After that, I'm going to once again type in distance 1.5, 1.5, which is one and a half centimeter. Leave everything as is, that's include extended box checks and click OK. Then I'm going to click one on the page to release these highlights, okay?